In 2023, the U.S. stock market experienced significant growth, with the Nasdaq Composite Index gaining an impressive 42%. However, amidst this positive trend, Zim Integrated Shipping Services, a company that went public in early 2021 at $15 per share, faced a stark contrast. Despite initial success and a remarkable 500% increase in stock value to $91 by March 2022, the company's fortunes took a downturn. Over the past year, Zim stock plummeted by 42%, falling from $17 to just under $10. Despite this decline, shareholders received a silver lining in the form of a $6.40 dividend, mitigating the net negative return to 5%. Looking back over the three-year period since its IPO, Zim has distributed dividends totaling $38.40, surpassing double the IPO price. This implies that those who bought Zim shares at $15 during the IPO essentially acquired their shares for free, courtesy of the substantial dividend payments. Understanding the shipping industry's cyclical nature is crucial in interpreting Zim's performance. The industry initially faced a standstill during the COVID-19 lockdowns, causing a subsequent surge in demand as global trade resumed. Freight rates skyrocketed, increasing by over 250% from pre-pandemic levels. In January 2020, the average freight rate per TEU was $1,092, soaring to $3,850 in January 2022. This led to robust profits for shipping companies. However, responding to the increased demand, many shipping companies expanded their fleets. As the initial surge in demand subsided, the market became saturated with surplus vessels, exerting downward pressure on shipping rates. Presently, rates have reverted to pre-pandemic levels. Zim's challenges were further compounded by economic contractions in Europe and an extended lockdown in China, a significant player in global trade. Despite initial expectations of increased demand from China post-lockdown, the actual uptick fell short, raising concerns about a slowdown in the Chinese economy. Zim's business suffered in 2023, marked by operating losses in each of the last three quarters. Management anticipates this challenging performance to persist for at least the next year. Consequently, Dividend payments were halted as the company navigates these difficult market conditions. Looking ahead, investors are confronted with critical questions regarding Zim Integrated Shipping Services. The foremost concern is the company's solvency if its current depressed business performance persists for the next two years. Furthermore, uncertainty surrounds the trajectory of the stock price during this period, especially given the absence of foreseeable dividend payments. The heightened short interest, with over 24% of the free float currently shorted, underscores the prevailing pessimism. A closer look at Zim's balance sheet reveals a mounting gross debt of $4.7 billion, representing a staggering 159% increase from its pre-IPO debt level. Notably, 97% of this debt comprises lease liabilities, with only 3% classified as traditional debt, i.e., loans. The substantial growth in the chartered in vessels fleet, from 69 vessels in Q3 2020 to 130 vessels in Q4 2022, an 88% increase, contributes to the inflated lease liabilities and overall debt. However, the nature of this debt, primarily stemming from chartered in vessels and containers, serves as both a challenge and an advantage. While it contributes to the current downturn due to excess global container ship capacity, it positions Zim favorably for a future upturn. The company's debt structure limits its capital expenditure requirements compared to competitors who own most of their fleet. Additionally, the right-of-use assets for vessels and containers mirror the debt, allowing Zim to capture a larger market share during periods of strong demand. Looking at the management's long-term strategy, three potential options emerge to sustain the company. First, a fleet reduction by retiring old and expensive vessels could substantially cut operating costs, particularly if replaced with newer, fuel-efficient vessels. 
Second, the issuance of new stock provides a means to raise cash, although it comes at the expense of existing shareholders through stock dilution. Third, Zim could explore bank loans, especially considering the expected drop in interest rates in the coming year, making borrowing more feasible. The ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict and shipping disruptions caused by the Houthis in Yemen add another layer of complexity. Avoiding the Red Sea due to these conflicts elongates voyage times to Europe, potentially increasing the demand for shipping and putting upward pressure on charter rates. This dynamic could lead to a short squeeze, contributing to the recent stock price increase from $7 to $10 in the past three weeks. However, the long-term outlook remains bleak, with no anticipated dividends. Consequently, any further appreciation in stock price might be viewed as an opportunity to sell, with an eye on re-entry at a more favorable price around $5. For those seeking exposure to potential positive developments, longer duration call options with a strike price of $15 could be considered. The long-term target price for Zim is set at $45, reflecting optimism for a turnaround in these uncertain times. According to the World Trade Organization, the world merchandise trade in goods will grow by 3.2% in 2024. Dineo Shipping estimates that global container trade will slightly grow from 213 million TEU in 2022 to 218 million TEU in 2023. It is worth noting that DAC has a charter backlog of $126 million with Zim through 2028. However, Navio's Maritime Partners forecasts a decrease of 1.6% in world seaborne container trade in 2023, before increasing by 3.3% in 2024. It is worth noting that NNM has $865 million contracted revenue with Zim. Zim's main competitors in the shipping industry include Maersk Line, MSC, CMA, CGM, and Haypagloid. These companies compete with Zim for business by offering similar services, but may have different elements such as pricing, transit times, and reliability. In terms of investment strategies, Zim stands out due to its unique advantages, such as its strategy of renting ships instead of owning them outright. This approach helps to mitigate risk and provides greater flexibility, allowing Zim to quickly adjust its fleet size in response to changes in demand. Moreover, Zim's recent decision to use liquefied natural gas as a fuel source demonstrates its commitment to sustainability and reducing its environmental impact, which could give it a competitive edge in the market. Thanks for watching.